Well, you might have seen my uh, balancing bird video um, with this chap, and uh, I hope you remember how it works. But I've got something um, rather more special to show you today, which is along similar lines. Um, what you do is you go out with your friends, you buy a drink, it has to be in a can, you drink a bit, um, and then you talk to them for a while, and then all you do is just put your drink down on the bar, and you leave it alone. And um, you carry on talking, pick it up, um, take another drink, and then um, chat to them a bit further, and when they're not looking, um, you just put your drink down, and um, carry on talking. And after a while, people stop looking and chatting to you, and they start looking at this and wondering what's going on. Of course, this is um, very similar to our uh, balancing bird arrangement, where the um, weight is uh, can be considered to be concentrated over the beak. And what we've got here, of course, the can has um, a nice sort of flat, it's almost 45 degree um, edge on it. And we've got a very small amount of um, drink in it. I've, I've got no preference for 7-Up, it's water in here from the lab taps, in fact. But it'll do the trick. And um, that gives it a very low centre of gravity, centre of mass, if you prefer. And of course, when you tip it, that line of action of the force, same as with the bird, is over the edge. So if you get it just right, um, it will stay there. It will actually spin slightly. Um, I run the risk of getting very wet doing this. Oh, it's worked. Um, which is more impressive. Um, but the only catch is, before you do it, make sure the drink isn't sloshing around inside. Because uh, if the drink's sloshing around inside, it's over. Um, because there's more weight acting um, or over one side than there is over the other at a further distance. So, um, now I've soaked everything in sight. If I haven't let too much water out, um, that's the balancing can experiment. You might want to try that one. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, let me know how you got on if you tried this, um, and whether you had success and amazed a few people. I'll do some more experiments again soon.